<laughs> Let's go science. Let's go <laughs> science. Let's go science. out of time you're out of time you're gonna start over you that you only have this amount of time to do all these steps that's why you're gonna start over you let half of it go you're not even doing it right you have
Incredibly baggy. Oh no, I see. It's going thinner, right? Okay. Alrighty, so we just got done with the Museum of Science. What'd you think? It was good. Are you serious? You knucklehead. We are driving in Boston, y'all. This car. Oh my goodness. Don't get in an accident. St all right, all right, get off the horn. Wrong. Get off the horn and go through the light. We ain't gonna catch the red light. You trying to beef. Anyway, this that's- This just tried to back into us. Well, we first of all, he was trying to do you. a parallel park, but like at the last minute, like what was, where was your turn signal? Like it was so stupid. And then he finally put his turn signal on, like you were just going back in. Anyways, I, this is this is secondhand smoke. <laughs> I'm kidding off. But anyways, um, Boston Museum of Science was really, really good. My tongue is orange because I just had orange Tic Tacs. <laughs> Don't come for me. <laughs> but um, the lightning show was the highlight for me. The planetarium was really cool as well. I love planetariums. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger, but it kind of went on a little bit long. It wasn't like a live show, which I didn't expect. All the planetariums I've ever been to, there's been like kind of like a standard movie that they show you but the guy there was like an astronomer and he was like pointing out constellations and answering questions from the crowd there was like a five-year-old girl who knew all the <laughs> constellations i was like what she was like no the big dipper is part of an what was it i forgot what it was a group of stars called ursa major i was like where did i didn't learn that in school when when did when and how did you learn that but anyways we are on our way to go get food at fogo de chao which is a brazilian steakhouse we are currently trying to get past boston traffic because boston has the worst streets i have ever driven on go past this light then at the next one turn right thank you siri <laughs> but um boston streets are horrible the way that this city is designed, it's pretty, but it's bag. horrible. It's, it was de it's designed for horses. It's not designed for But like, just follow a nice little grid, um, grid design like New York City. It's too late. It is too late. <laughs> Everything is quaint in New England, which is just code word for old. But anyway, we about to get some food and some of the best bacon in the world. It's the best bacon in the world. It's the best bacon. Fogo de Chao has the best bacon in the world. It's so good. This is the At second me. video where Fogo de Chao's bacon will be. Oh, yeah, y'all. When we went to the King Tut exhibit, we went to Fogo de Chao after. I guess whenever we go to Boston, we go to Fogo. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. But off we go. <laughs> Crisis. There's no bacon. That's why we come here. Bacon security. Ew. 